Yo, I just want to apologize to Jokic. I mean, uh, I don't ever apologize, but you are the best in the world. Joel Embiid, you a hope. Jokic hasn't won a championship. Yeah. He's getting bounced out the playoffs. Embiid has been phenomenal and great. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real, bro. One thing about me, I stand on business. ISO. It's over. Denver makes history. The Nuggets are going to the NBA Finals. I don't feel like it was the team. I don't feel like it was the roster. I don't feel like it was the role players. I feel like it was Bron Bron. Holy shit. Shit. You know, sometimes it's not the message. It's about who said it. You know what I'm saying? Dylan Brooks wasn't wrong. LeBron is old. He can't do it by himself. Now, I'm not putting all this blame on AD. It's a close out game, my brother. You have to give out everything that you needed to give. When I saw that Jamaican man, Tristan Thompson, giving it all, his all, more than you, I was very disappointed in you, my brother. Listen, this summer, you either have to go into the hyperbolic time chamber and get crazy, or you have to just pack it up, bro. You have to retire. I couldn't tell who was older you or braun but that's what i want to say it's time for ball movement where i pass around the rock to all my fellow teammates so we like the golden state warriors and before we do that we have to introduce a very very special guest we got anthony moore in the building everybody make some noise yeah yeah mr philly representer <laughs> where you from you from 215 or what no nah, you're not yeah. from 215 i want to introduce anthony Moore the right way he is a comedian out of mm. philly he's here in new york or new jersey area i don't know if i should say yeah. that i feel like i just gave <laughs> out your government but he, he's been on comedy central and other platforms like that i'm having relationship problems right now not not with my girl but i have two different barbers and my original barber got locked up i'm i'm out here like on the outside, I still got needs, so. Yeah, yeah, like you said, I'm a um, comedian. Just started my podcast. Yeah, yeah we podcast, yeah, we want yeah. more. We want, yeah, so if y'all on Apple, Spotify, I'm still trying to get used to promoting myself. Yeah. <laughs> Should LeBron retire, bro? And a lot of things, to be honest, just me personally going, going forward with game basketball. LeBron know damn well he's not retiring. <laughs> like, especially the the still be at this level, but almost had a triple double. Yeah, like I think forty nine and eight. Yeah, I think he's That's right. Yeah, away. I think he still got another good two years in him. The way he looking. Colin, if you don't know, is our NBA expert and <laughs> analyst, but he's also our producer as well. So we got him on the mic. I feel like last week I didn't really introduce him properly, so I got to introduce him to the it. world. He is he is to our TikTok guy, the Nets world guy. So he he's a big nah. Nets fan. You know what I'm saying? So. I got beat yeah. because he doesn't like the way Joel and B plays basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm one of many. They got lucky. Still not sold. And beat is moping around. For a lot of us, that was the first time we saw yeah. LeBron be like visibly exhausted. And we were like, okay, like he cannot single handedly win a finals on his own anymore. I'm sure he was kind of like self reflecting at that moment where he was like, you know what? Like maybe I do need to like reevaluate things. I think it was a little bit of him saying, you know, I am, I am 38. And he was realizing that. I mean, realistically, we know he's not retiring because he's waiting for Bronny. If Jokic wins a ring, is he the best center ever? Nah. I would put him in that top 10 conversation for I think, sure. Yeah. I think he's already in the top yeah, 10, yeah. if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you look at like the top five. I feel like the top five centers in the league are or ever would be like Kareem. Russell, Kareem, Will, The Dream, and Shaq. Uh, and Shaq. Yeah, yeah. Defense, they smoke Jokic. But defense is a better shooter and a better passer than both those guys by miles. Like That's got to count for something. That's like half your offensive yeah. bag. If he get this ring, I, w I wouldn't have a problem putting him over Hakeem. To me, Shaq, what he's been able to do, he went to the finals with three different teams, right? Mm -hmm. He went to the finals with the Magic, he went to the finals with the Lakers, and he went to the finals with the Heat, right? He has four rings. That motherfucker was a fucking dominant force that could not be stopped. We gotta slow down when we start talking about the best player ever. Yes, he'll be a, to me, top five, maybe, but top one? No. I lost $50 yeah. over the weekend betting on the Lakers, so this is our segment called The <laughs> Betting Man Wins. And um, okay. we got our betting analyst, the guy, the Italian stallion, Gio. So everybody make some noise. Yo, so Gio, what you got for me on the betting tip? So let's talk about uh, my team, the Miami <clears throat> Heat, and how they've basically bankrupt Vegas. I'm not gonna lie, I can't wait till the season's over so you can stop talking about the Miami Heat. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to win money, you gotta bet on the Miami Heat. They're gonna beat the the Nuggets in six. I feel like the odds are a reflection of like everybody's disbelief of what's going on right yeah, now. Yeah, I was just like, gonna say yeah, like. Yeah. If you look at game one, obviously Celtics are home, so you expect the Celtics to win that game. But obviously the Heat won that. Cool. If you look at game two, 
must win game for the Celtics. You don't think they're going to go down 0-2. So you're going to give them the odds. You're going to make them the favorites. Finally, the Miami Heat are getting respect that they yes, deserve. Sir. They <laughs> proved everybody wrong. Yes, and sir. I think it's rightfully so that they are the favorites. I'm going to be real with you. Nobody believes in Gabe, Vincent, and Struth. How do you feel about like the Miami like undrafted list that they keep talking about? Like undrafted, yeah. undrafted. When Jimmy left the Sixers, I was like, oh, he just trying to get paid. Like mm -hmm. he don't care about winning at all. And Turns he definitely he made the right decision. I, I love that system that Spo and Pat Riley put in place where it's like, yeah, y'all undrafted, but we gonna put instill some work at the- So if you had to bet on Miami Heat or the Denver Nuggets, who you betting on? No bias. No bias? I think Miami actually could win. It really just comes down to the intangibles. Mm -hmm. For this one, like the the tangibles and the and the role players. As long it, don't double Jokic. Jokic, his game is he wants to move the ball. He wants to facilitate. Let him beat you one on one. That's fine. I'll let Jokic score thirty points on on you know 20, 25, 30 shots. You know what? Fine. Yeah. If he beats you like that, that's okay. Just don't let him move the ball around because that's where you get into trouble. The Nuggets scare me, bro. I really want the Heat to win. But I don't know, man. I think they could do it. But Michael I Porter Jr., I want to say, <coughs> he ain't all that, bro. <laughs> yeah, I like to thank Anthony Moore for coming on the show. All that and more on every social platform. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. you got your podcast. The is, We Want More podcast. We Want More. Make sure to like, subscribe. Where do you find that at? Um, it's on Apple, Spotify, and the visuals is on YouTube. Yes, thank you, brother. Like mm -hmm. always, friend of the show. Always, he'll be back. You know that. <laughs> so make sure you go to thegameday.com for your sports betting tips where you can get information from people like Gio who can give you a good parlay or a good lock or whatever the case may be. I don't know. I'm just talking. Let's just close out because this is weird now. <laughs>